What's happening, good people? Today, I'd like to do a little bit of a variation of the sit rep. If you don't remember what that is, that's a situational report. We did one a couple of months ago. And basically, in the fire service, it's just kind of like a, your basic update of what's going on. So we have some interesting things that are going outside and inside the channel. And I like to use the viewer comments. And don't get me wrong, I'm not butthurt over these at all and take them with a grain of salt. But I'd like to use them actually to explain to you, the people that are viewing in, what the channel's all about. There are plenty of other videos when we first started off explaining all this, but the quality's gotten a little bit better now, so maybe it's a little bit harder to watch those videos. If not, go back and watch them anyway. But we'll use those comments to kind of spin it towards a little bit of a what's, what's going on with the channel, where we're going, where we've been, and what we're doing. So, well, first I'd like to talk about is Fender is back at NAM, And if you don't know, NAM is this big, huge, uh, production out in California. I think it's every January. There's another one in the summertime. I believe it's in Nashville. But the January one is a really big one. And it's where all the people in the music industry, your content creators, musicians, and all the companies that produce any type of recording, audio equipment, you know, you name it, it's, it's there. And Fender, since COVID really screwed it up, they haven't been back. And there was big speculation that they might have been backing out because if you haven't noticed with them, they've actually been getting up in their game as far as like being able to order stuff with a lot more versatility and what you can and can't get from them. So they were thinking possibly that they might have been doing that to pull out of the stores like your mom and pop stores and God forbid the big retail stores that we use online like Sweetwater, Musician's Friend and all that. So hopefully this is a sign of that not happening because that could be a dangerous slippery slope of having to order everything directly through the person that's producing itself. All right, so now we're going to go to our viewer comments. And first up is learning to play a guitar is generally a prerequisite to reviewing guitars. When your 12 bar blues sounds like coloring by numbers, it's not the guitar, it's you. Also stop with beating the shit out of the strings. How do you expect to get your tone when your only strum pattern is clobber all six strings as hard as you can? You can't even bend a string to properly match the note. You're attempting to play and you're lecturing on tone. Did you even bother to intonate the guitar simply beyond using a tuner? This is a joke, right? Your channel should be called Wasting Money on Cheap Guitars 101. Hmm, that's not a bad idea for a secondary channel when this one really takes off. But in the biography of this channel, it does state this is a beginner guitar channel for beginners by beginners, where we're helping everyone navigate the wonderful world of guitar. And we understood the frustration that it is when you see a, an accomplished musician take a cheap piece of gear, whether it be a pedal or a guitar or even an amp, and they make it sound amazing. You get it home and it doesn't sound anything close to that. So as far as the intonation, it was an unboxing, and we like to show people what it is straight out of, the, um, out of the box. If you don't see how it is out of the box and it's completely set up, you're gonna think this thing's a million bucks and amazing. So you at least get a better idea of what it is, and then we'll play the guitar in the future when it's intonated. Also, it is a review of a $62 guitar. So the person that is watching this might not be able to afford to have it intonated. And hopefully we can do a video on that shortly. Maybe you can watch some videos on it, but they might be playing that guitar a little while without being intonated. And as far as the 12 bar blues, I don't have anything for you. I never really watched a video and with a metronome to see if the person was playing in time or not. And as far as the bending and the strings, I don't even know what, if it was a quarter bend, half bend or full bend or what it was bending to. We're just trying to get some tones out of the guitar so that people can get see it and get some good review on it. But next comment, all that and never played a single note. Wow. Well, that was from our very first video. If you please go back and look at that because you'll see how far we come, how many chins we have lost since then. But it was a video on completely how to optimize your practicing time, your schedule and everything like that. So it wasn't meant to be playing guitar. It was, that was the intention of it. And 
that should have been, it was the same person, so that should have been their favorite video because they didn't have to hear me play. But needless to say, we're trying to get the videos a little bit faster because we understand time is money for you and you want to get onto the next video. Well, hopefully it's our videos, but that's why we took our unboxings and we put them into shorts and we're having them featured inside the video after the fact so you can go back and see the unboxing instead of taking the long elaborate time of a long video. Let us know in the comments what you think about that setup so far, if you like it or if you want the unboxing back into the video. Comment also coincides with that. Typical American all talk video. Well, that was a comment on the video where we unboxed our very first guitar. I think it was almost, it was close to like about 30 minutes long. I know it was about two hours before it was edited, so you're welcome. But again, trying to think of ways to speed up so we can get you more videos, more content, and I don't have to sit in front of these lights and uh, a camera for that long. You should try blinking and keeping your eyes sorted. I never actually even noticed on anybody's YouTube videos if they didn't blink before. But sometimes when things are edited, you might edit out the blinks or when you look down, that person might have blinked. But I will maybe add a blink counter from now on. And I did notice that there was kind of a few times where there wasn't any blinking involved, not like this right now. But as far as the eyes sorted, I'm not really sure what that went. The dude talks too much about nothing. I don't care about his tears. That was tears and levels. And I'd like to thank the person for at least tuning in that long to the video, but that is just a precursor to our update about we have created a Patreon. And I'm not gonna get too into the weeds about it, but we'll do a, a video about that later on. In the last video about the Epiphone guitar, we did a little bit of a advertisement for it. And I thought it was a pretty good deal. When you actually do the math and add up all the chances and the caps on the tiers, it really comes out to where I might even be losing money, I don't know, because the government gets their money first, then Patreon gets a full cut on that, and then all the prizes and the tiers that came up with. I mean, I thought, you know, for not being anything, $5 a month would be just saying thank you. So for $10 a month, that's really just an extra $60. You're gonna get four chances to win a $300 Pedal. I thought that was pretty good. I mean, I wish I was watching a, a person that was doing that for theirs because I would sign up for their Patreon tomorrow, but not trying to push that now. We'll have that in the video, but if you want to check out that information, go to our Epiphone guitar video and there's a link to that. And also we just set up a Discord, which if you don't know is when I talked about in our very first or second video was possibly starting a forum that's the new modern day, the hip way of doing it. So hopefully people start joining that soon and it starts to take off. Need someone who can play to actually demo this. I believe this was from one of the pedal reviews. I'm not really sure, but um, again, there's all different types of channels. And like I said, it stayed in the beginning. We're a beginner channel and we resonate with a lot of people because we already have 164 subscribers, which is absolutely crazy because we're just coming up on our fourth month in of doing this. So thank you all to those 164 and hope it keeps on going up. And I'm glad that you like the content that we provide because that's what we're here for. And if you don't like it, there's plenty of other YouTubers out there. And you know what, still tune into us because I'm pushing those people too. In the comment, I believe I left that there's a uh, Ryan Bruce, we did a, uh, video on him not too long ago, and he's a much better player than I am, much better content provider than I am. But if you looked at his videos four months in, they're probably on par course with this. So give us a chance. Ha, ah, the next one. Shame on you for buying Timo. What's the issue with Timo? Seriously asking, I asked. Isn't that obvious? Timu is a Chinese company that floods the world market with the cheapest plastic products. In other words, products that are normally unsuitable for being thrown away. Garbage products, if you will. Our world is collapsing among other things because of such corporations. The working conditions at Timu are also non-transparent. Reason enough for me to boycott Timu. But actually all this has been 
known since the company was founded. So I'm a little surprised that you didn't know about it. Timu is actually just a search engine type thing. They're not actually a factory with a whole bunch of like little Chinese babies hammering away and soldering on chipboards and stuff like that. A lot of this stuff actually is on Amazon as well. We've kind of curbed the, the Timu thing a bit and we're going more towards the Amazon, not just because we're an affiliate with them now, but the shipping is faster and it's more, more reliable. But unfortunately, the Chinese products, the comment was probably made on an iPhone. Just, just saying. And also we gotta think globally here because I know I'm not a huge personality, but we do have people tuning in from the UK. Thank you very much. Canada, India, Turkey. Actually, a shout out to our first contest winner was from India. So I love American pride and I love American guitars and would obviously love to review them, but I'm not making money off this channel. So I got to review what I can review right now. And I still will review the cheap stuff anyway because I'm all for getting guitars into people's hands. I think these Chinese guitars are something that might inspire somebody to eventually go and get a, an American Fender or a Fender Custom Shop because they were inspired to play by the inexpensive guitar that they had and could have gotten their hands on earlier. And with the global market, some people can't get American guitars the tariffs and the import taxes on them are crazy. So they might only be able to get Chinese or Korean or Indonesian guitars because they're closer to where they live or there may be lesser, lesser restrictions. And also, what's to say they're not in the UK and there's a UK guitar builder. So just thinking globally and not egocentric as to there's a whole bunch of other people watching. And I'm not knocking trying to sound like, you know, you're closed-minded because that's not the case. Some of them weren't all bad. You ain't just a snack, you're a whole meal. That actually was my mom trying to, because nobody was ever commenting on my videos. Where can I get some of that? And that guitar looks pretty good too. Again, that was when the channel wasn't going anywhere. That was my wife. I'm kidding, I just made those up. This is quite possibly the worst guitar channel on YouTube. Amazing accomplishment. Well, it might not be the worst. There might be like two or three, four, I don't know, you know, like, I mean, there's channels out there where people are eating all weird sorts of stuff and they're getting 12, 15 views. At least some of my videos are getting over a thousand, 300 views, but we're trying. And going back to, we're only four months in and to learn audio, visual, editing, I think we're pre doing pretty good. So when you take that into a whole context, hopefully you come around, maybe in a year or two, we're doing really good. I mean, I'm shooting this thing on an iPhone right now. So every time it's set up differently because I gotta take it with me. So it's not like I have a dedicated camera that sits in one spot. The lighting gets taken down all the time. So, but it's it's a work of progress and we're, we're getting there. I mean, again, those 164 people can't do it without you and appreciate it. Share it with people, get the word out and we'll see where this goes. These Al Cheapo guitar reviews are getting way out of hand. They do not rival Fender. They in no way compare to quality guitars. People are being paid big dollar signs to say these things. What is a Haval equal to a Lexus? So I had to look up a Haval and it's a foreign car actually. So it again, reiterates the broad spectrum of people that we have out there and they're coming from vast places. And again, it wasn't a reference to Fender custom shop guitars, but the guitar definitely rivals a Fender Squire. Fender's answer to that was to make the Squire debut, which we also have a video on. And that was twice the price of that guitar. But ultimately, a spoiler, if you don't want to watch the video, I would go watch it. But uh, that the, the Fender's answer was really good. But we weren't comparing saying that 
the $62 guitar is better than even the American series. But regardless of all the comments, again, more of them are good than bad. We just used the ones that were poking at the channel a little bit to kind of reiterate what we're here for. And again, that's for you, the viewers. It's not here for me. I'm not looking to make buku bucks on this. Just go to the Patreon and see that, and you'll see that probably gonna get, come towards tax time, owing Uncle Sam if those tiers max out. So, but I wanna get that gear into your hands, so trust me, I think it's worth it, and wish I could join my own channel to be opted into that. You all have been a fantastic audience, and as always, stay tuned.